Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about how you can use an attenuator to get the most out of your tube amp. And we're going to do it using one of the most notoriously difficult tube amps to control, the Hot Rod Deluxe by Fender. Now, I've been using an attenuator with my Hot Rod for some time now, and I must say it really has opened up the way that the amp has sounded and responded to my playing. So today we're going to be using the Mass Light by Weber. It has independent bass and treble controls as well as a high and low range uh, attenuation switch. Also, it has impedance matching, so you can match any amp to any speaker cabinet, regardless of impedance of the speakers. So, today I'm going to use my 2018 Gibson SG Standard. I'm going to go directly into the high input of the Hot Rod Deluxe. I've mic'd the, the Hot Rod up with a Shure SM57, going directly into an Akai EIE Pro interface, then directly into GarageBand. Okay, so here we can see the top of the amplifier. Now, I have the attenuator currently turned off and we can see here the volume is around two now throughout the course of this I'm not going to change any of the knobs the only thing that's going to change is this volume here I'm only going to be using the first channel I'm not going to be using the drive channels and we're going to watch how the drive starts to increase as the volume increases I have a decibel meter hooked up and right now We're running about 65 to 70 decibels. So throughout that it hit about 75 decibels there. So now, I'm going to turn the attenuator on. Only about 40 decibels right now. So we're achieving quite a bit of reduction already. I'm going to turn up the volume to about 3. there. I'm going to bring it up slightly more and we're going to watch as the dr it starts to drive at about this point. There's four. still around 80 decibels so we're still achieving the same amount of sound reduction but the drive is starting to turn up quite considerably now this is at five this is where I find that this amp starts to achieve the sweet spot in terms of power amp distortion is about five on the dial or between four and five <laughs> six okay let's jump up a little bit take it up to about eight Okay, let's bring it up about 
between nine and ten, about a quarter of the way. Now this is the point where the amp starts to me starts to get a little flubby and the distortion isn't quite as defined. And we'll bring it up to full. Right, guys let's try something fun now I've got the amp set up I've got the attenuator set to a decent volume I've got the amp at around five right around that sweet spot let's watch how my pick attack can affect the amount of distortion coming from the amp Alright, now let's throw a tube screamer in front of it. So here, a quick search on reverb for attenuators will yield you a lot of results. As you see here, they can range anywhere from $200 to $1,000. And when choosing, it's important to take into account the wattage of your amp, the impedance of your speaker cabinet, as well as any other features that you may be interested in. Well guys, I hope this is giving you a good opportunity to see how an attenuator works and how it can affect your playing in terms of the way your tube amp responds to your pick attack on your guitar. Thanks for tuning in today, and as always, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully we can bring you more videos. Thanks. Bye now.